Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome to another video. It is the first Friday of the month and today I'm creating the 10th Harry Potter Matchbox diorama for you. If you would like to catch up on all the other ones, I will leave a link in the iCard section. But let's see what the 10th Harry Potter diorama will be. Just removing the previous ones. And the tenth diorama will be the Hufflepuff common room. So let's get started. As with all my Harry Potter miniature matchboxes, I start off this matchbox by creating my own matchbox. And you can find the website where I got it from, plus all the dimensions I used, in the description box below if you want to make your own. Now for this matchbox, I want it to open from the side, as you see me do here. And that is how I'm going to construct this matchbox. I start off by cutting out a large portion of the front and the back of the matchbox so I can make it like a curved wall because the common the half above common room is circular. And this is what the rounded walls look like. Now I just need to put a top and a base on both sides of the matchbox. But before I can do that, I'm going to assemble the matchbox itself. To close the tops and the bottoms of the matchbox, I place a piece of cardstock against the side, trace around it, cut it out and glue it on. And this is what we have so far. It is a complete box, including snap closure with a magnet and I can now just go and decorate it. But before I do that, I cut open the top of one of the sides so I can make windows because I forgot to do that. And then closing that top down again. Then onto the painting. The Hufflepuff common room is yellow. Let me tell you a little bit about what I found on wizardingworld.com. The room is decorated in the cheerful bee-like colors of yellow and black, emphasized by the use of highly polished honey-colored wood for the tables and the round doors which lead to the boys' and girls' dormitories. So I am making the furniture yellow with black stripes. This is the main parts of the furniture, the couches and the chairs, and also a few plant pots. You see the black beads in the back. They were uh, gray and a blue, I think, and I just painted them black with acrylic paint. The couches are cardboard and the armrests are made out of very small long beads and the feet of the chairs and the couches are made out of very, very tiny seed beads. Posca pens are a very helpful tool with miniatures, especially if you have to make very precise stripes like these. And I'm just adding them on top of the acrylic paint with the Posca pen. Now I wanted that warm feeling of the wooden beams to come through in the ceiling as well. So I cut out these strips of chipboard and paint them in brown acrylic paint. Thank you. 
and then I glue them individually onto the ceiling. And this is what we have so far. Now in the movies and in the books, the Hufflepuff common room is not described. However, if you go to wizardingworld.com, I will leave a link in the description box below, you will find a whole section that JK Rowling has written as a description of the Hufflepuff common room. She intended for Harry to visit every single common room in the books, but then in the end she didn't find a use for him to visit every single common room. So that was left out. But obviously there were people that were saying, hey, I actually want to know what this common room looked like. Can we get a description? So she posted that on wizardingworld.com. This is my interpretation of that description and also what I've found by just going onto Google Images and search Hufflepuff common room. I wanted this common room to have a wooden floors so to emphasize that warm cozy feeling and I'm just drawing that on with a Derwent artist pencil and then going over with brown watercolor paint on top of acrylic paint. This pulls up the watercolor and makes it actually look like wood. Then also described is that plant holders dangling amid the ceiling cause tendrils of ferns and ivies to brush your hair as you pass under them. Now I didn't make them that long but I did uh, hang some from the ceiling that you will see in the very end of this video where I've actually attached little plants to the ceiling and I've also drawn them in on the walls. Every common room needs a fireplace and that is what I'm creating here. This is the painting that will be hanging above the fireplace. And apparently, according to the description, the fireplace is made out of wood. I would not make my fireplace out of wood. And then a, a little rug that is made from a piece of upholstery fabric. And then, of course, we cannot forget the round, cute little doors. I'm going around the door with the Posca pen to give it a little bit more definition and then over it as well with the brown watercolor paint. And these are the doors to the dormitories. And this is what it looks like when the doors are all in. Now another little detail that I found is this what I'm drawing now. A large pile of barrels is to be found stacked in a shadowy stone recess. This is not a stone recess, but it's still barrels stacked. The barrel two from the bottom, middle of the second row, will be open if tapped in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. As a security device to repel non-Hufflepuffs, tapping the wrong barrel or tapping the incorrect number of times results in one of the other lids bursting off and drenching the interloper in vinegar. Now what you saw me create before whilst I was talking about the barrels is a little bookcase and some books as well to go into the common room. And then moving on to the little plant pots and I'm just filling them with some leftover bits and pieces of floral stuff. This little one will go on the fireplace. Placing another one at the back. And I'm just slowly filling the common room now with all the furniture. So let's have a look what the final Hufflepuff common room looks like. 
And this is it for the 10th Harry Potter Matchbox Diorama. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!